David Foster. Ring a bell? Well, if not, you've definitely heard some of the songs he's written and produced. Foster has won 16 Grammy Awards from 47 nominations. He's written songs for Celine Dion, Whitney Houston, Madonna, and Michael Jackson. Well, last night, David Foster performed in Clearwater, and I had a chance to chat with him before his big performance. <laughs> What I like about you is, is that you appreciate every art and you listen and you pay attention. Yeah, I don't know how to make every kind of music. I love hard rock, I love Van Halen, I love Pearl, Pearl Jam, but I haven't got a clue as to how to really make that kind of music. The same way as Drake, I wouldn't know how to make that record, but I can certainly enjoy it. In every decade, there is good and bad music, you know, and 2019 is no exception. So when you see these performers out there performing your songs, what do you think? How does that make you feel? Well, part of the reason why I decided to go on the road in the last decade is because I spent so many years in the studio, four walls, no windows, making the music with the artists, and then they had the joy of going out and taking the songs that we created together and performing in places like this and, and getting that one-on-one, -on -one, that feedback from the audience. And so I didn't have that for years. And so out of all these songs, and I'm sure all of these songs that either won a Grammy or won an award are just great, but what's your favorite? Which, which song touched you the most? It's kind of changes, but I, I, um, I say lately, the song I wrote for Celine Dion and Andre Bocelli called The Prayer, and um, it's a song that gets played at weddings and funerals. So if you think about that, yeah. how strange that is to find a piece of music that could serve the happiest day of your life and the saddest day of your life at the same time. I love touring and, and Florida has been so great to me. Um, and I actually had my, first, we lived here when I had my first hit uh, back in 19 whatever, way back. Uh, and we lived in Florida for a year, so Florida's got a special place in my heart. The next step for you, I mean, you've got all of these awards, you know, you've done so many, you've worked with so many artists. What's the next step for you? Where, where do you want to be? I, I am working on some musicals. I don't want to call them Broadway musicals yet because they're not on Broadway, but I'm working towards that end. And um, hopefully you'll see me on Broadway one day. I mean, I, I want a piece of that. I mean, I'm no Lin-Manuel, but I, uh, I, I, I want a piece of that. I think I could be good at it. I think I am good at it and uh, I'm gonna work really hard to, to try and go the distance. Amazing. So I also, this is really cool, I was sweating from the pits down. Um, I sung Rolling in the Deep with him and his band. So it was just improv, it was, wow. just, it was so amazing. Did like, he, he play for you? Yeah, he did. So imagine, so now that long list, and uh, it's just, this guy's an absolute legend, and he just, yeah. he's been doing this for 50 years, yeah. and that's what makes him so good, he's never done. Right. Now he wants to go to Broadway, he wants to continue touring. 